Talking about the Nintendo Switch 2, at this point, just feels like it's become part of a holiday tradition around here. Of course, this has absolutely nothing to do with the fact we've had multiple holidays talking about potential upcoming Switch hardware in the past. Oh, in class, whoever parked in my space, thank you. I enjoyed the walk. You're welcome. Yeah, there's nothing like an hour in the rain. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I get it. You're saying that because you don't want him to park in your spot. Very good. You win the trip to Jamaica. Hey, wait a minute. You didn't say there's a prize. But reality is, I am really excited every time I have something to talk about with Nintendo's next generation system. I enjoy talking about what Nintendo has cooking after the absolutely amazing generation literally we're in right now. Heck, did you know that? Nintendo, after Mario Wonder came in at a 93 today, now has three, yes, count it, three games released this year rated 93 or higher. Yeah, this is in the midst of the Switch being in year seven. Hot damn. Beyond that, I have always been a tech enthusiast, watching so many channels, Linus Tech Tips, Jay's Two Sets, yada, 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 talk about tech products I'll probably never own just out of pure curiosity of what's going on in that space. So when you can merge two of my favorite things together, Nintendo's incredible games and a brand new upcoming platform planning to use completely customized chips made directly by the world leader in GPUs in NVIDIA, and they are the only gaming console to actually use said company's tech? Yes, I'm going to be really, really excited. Gaming and technology coming together to help shape the future of my gaming experiences. This is why we did do some coverage of PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X heading into their respective launches too, from rumors and actual reveals, because it was exciting for me. Now, it's Nintendo's turn for the first time in this channel's history to bring a new generation of goodness to my doorstep. I preface all this because we have some really interesting things to talk about today with tons of timestamps to help you sort through it all. We have rumors of NVIDIA being so excited for what they made for Nintendo. They want in on the marketing campaign. We've got evidence that may be suggesting Nintendo Switch 2 could be revealed before the year is up. We have Nate the Hate teasing an upcoming podcast episode, which is supposed to contain all new information on Nintendo Switch 2. We have guys like Old Puck at Family Board literally saying he knows the system's code name, which that's interesting, but not really all that exciting overall. Manufacturing leaks are suspected to begin sometime in the next couple of months, as this is the cheapest time of the year to start making products. And all internal reports we've gotten from different, you know, manufacturing websites over the years seem to suggest the Nintendo Switch 2 goes into mass production beginning next month. But that being said, before we dive in, I have to remind you that we are trying to get to 150,000 subscribers before the end of this year. So if you want to go ahead and drop a like on the channel, subscribe if you want to be updated on all Nintendo Switch 2 goodness. And, oh yeah, why not hit that bell icon so you're notified of all future podcasts, live streams, and uploads. All right, the first thing we got to talk about is this thing that was put up yesterday by Nash Weedle. Again, there's a lot of debate over whether Nash Weedle is an actual insider or not. Look, this is a rumor. We're not going to pretend it's anything other than that. It's all unverified. But he did put up this tweet that is quite interesting to consider, and it says, Leak Express, NVIDIA wants its name on Switch 2. The work of customizing the chip for the new console was such, and they are so proud of the result that they want to be part of the presentation of the console or even have the NVIDIA brand appear on the box. For Nintendo, it would also be a way to identify the console with power. It already did it with Silicon Graphics and the N64, incorporating it into the marketing campaign. Additionally, Nintendo could save advertising costs by co-marketing with NVIDIA. Would you like this association? Now, obviously, this is all just a rumor, and we have no idea what NVIDIA thinks about the product that they are making for Nintendo in terms of the actual chipset. Obviously, Nintendo's putting the final thing together, but they are the ones behind the chip inside the system, the brains and processing of what's happening. And look, if NVIDIA is proud of what they have done, this is surely going to be something that we need to 
pay attention to. Nintendo has done things like it in the past. He mentions the Silicon Graphics advertising back in the day. But hey, even on the Nintendo GameCube, they had a little ATI sticker, or I don't know, whatever you want to call that, down in the corner of the GameCube. And this was before it was all, you know, bought up by AMD and everything. So yeah, like Nintendo has shown branding of the technology inside. And this isn't like extremely unusual. Even as I'm sitting here glancing at some notes on this laptop, hey, there's an NVIDIA GeForce RTX sticker on here. There's an Intel Core i7 sticker on here. This is normal tech products having associations with the technology inside them and having some branding on them isn't abnormal this doesn't mean nintendo's gonna name this the nintendo nvidia or something like that or nintendo switch rtx really it just means that they want some brand recognition either on the box or on the system itself and then they would obviously market it or help market it through some of their own marketing campaigns that nvidia already runs when they're talking about upcoming and future technology so again i don't know if any of this is true it wouldn't be unusual though so that's why we're talking about it, and hey, if NVIDIA actually is proud of what they made, then you have to know that they think consumers are going to be extremely impressed with this little, this little, this little box that could supposedly coming out next year. Now, next up, we're just bringing up something we already talked about in a prior video, because I think with everything we have going on today, this might have more relevance moving forward, and that is Nate the Hate teasing a future podcast episode with what he is claiming to be pretty new details or stuff we haven't really talked about yet with Nintendo Switch 2. He talked on Fami boards, I don't think it was like last week or the week before, so, something about roughly needing to you know, dot the I's and cross some T's and who he's talking to, some developers behind the scenes, and make sure that he can present things in a way that won't be misconstrued, you know, maybe even by content creators like me, right? Like, don't misconstrue what he's saying into something it's not uh speculation is always going to run rampant though regardless that being said uh just a reminder that he is still working on that episode and i think he even mentioned over the last 24 hours that it's already recorded uh, and was recorded long before something else we're about to get into but i don't really know right like this is you know i don't run his podcast but we obviously look forward to when he does it he recently did an episode uh mostly based around mario wonder which is always really exciting especially after we saw the review scores of mario wonder itself but we have no idea when this episode's coming it could be the next one that comes it could be one that isn't going to come out for a few weeks you know we'll just have to pay attention and see what nate the hate you know a well-known insider has to say uh or what his latest rumors are going to be for this upcoming platform now a big one that you've probably already seen at a few places it's hard to maybe not see it well i guess if you're focused on just the mario wonder stuff today you could have missed it and that is that nintendo of america has actually taken down the first look nintendo switch reveal trailer that's right one of their highest viewed videos ever over 50 million views on the nintendo of america one obviously they have it you know at other places and other youtube channels so note that they only really took it down on the nintendo of america youtube channel it's still up on all of their alternative Nintendo YouTube channels, and it's officially on Nintendo of America's Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. So they only took it down on YouTube. Now, they have done this before, and there was some small correlations with new products when they've done it before. Shortly after, like within days of the Nintendo Switch OLED reveal trailer drop, Nintendo privated the Switch Lite trailer. And then literally within less than a week, the Switch OLED trailer was then privated in the first week of July before the reveal of the Splatoon three OLED trailers. So they took down one, had the Splatoon 3 one, and then they unprivated the Switch OLED one uh, right around the time that the Splatoon 3 OLED was coming out at the end of August. Quite interesting indeed. And yeah, they never brought back the Switch Lite trailer. If I had to guess, it's just because Switch Lite sales haven't really been that impressive or that big of a deal to Nintendo this entire time. I think they thought Switch Lite would be a bigger deal because it's a cheaper entry point, but sort of like the Nintendo 2DS before it, it you know, it ended up just being something that people didn't really buy into just because it was cheaper. It really only had the one, you know, good year of sales, if you want to call it that, and that was in, you know, 2020 when you couldn't buy a Switch, so some people were settling on the leftover stock of Switch Lights that year. That being said... Uh, they right now the trailer is actually privated and it's not deleted. 
Now, there's a few notes on this. First, we want to talk about well-known insider and, and you know news reporter Necro Felipe Lima from Universal Nintendo. He had this to say over on X. The first trailer introducing the world of the Nintendo Switch has been taken down by Nintendo of America. There are reasons, such as expired music licensing, for this decision to be made, or dot, dot, dot. And he doesn't really follow it up, and he doesn't really know. He's just suggesting this could be a music licensing issue, and that could be it. Or it could be something else. And what's that something else? Well, what else would they be doing? They just released the Mario version of the OLED. It's already out, and they had that trailer out for a while, and they didn't take it out for that. Plus, that was an OLED system, not a normal Switch. And, you know, when you look up, you know, you know, switch reveal or whatever, that would be the trailer that showed up. Interesting. So all day people have been trying to actually prove or disprove that it's music licensing with zero explanation, of course, for why if it is music licensing, it isn't taken down in other territories or on other social accounts, just YouTube. And trying to figure out if it's a licensing issue has mostly been determined to be a fool's errand. A lot of misinformation is flying around about who owns the rights to the music in the trailer and any possible issues surrounding it. We can't dismiss it as a music rights issue, but we also can't ignore that other times Nintendo did this and did seem to coincide with some sort of Switch reveal of some kind. So look, guys, I don't know... What's happening with this? This is something that has gotten people stupidly excited today. Some people even expecting a reveal of this system within 48 hours, which to me is insane. I, I honestly don't think they're going to reveal the brand new system the exact same week Mario Wonder comes out, right? With how much marketing they put behind Mario Wonder, the earliest I could see if it was going to be revealed, uh, you know, would be next week, right? If they're, if they're going to reveal it this year, they're going to wait till after launch and then they can maybe talk about it next week. So I'm not saying that it's going to be happening, but I will say that this is definitely worth noting and paying attention to, especially with the history of Nintendo taking down stuff in the past that was related to products. And if you want to know what the argument is for this being related, it's typically related to search engine optimization, or in this case, specifically search engine optimization on YouTube. Uh, the other times that Nintendo like took down the Switch OLED trailer when they were trying to advertise and market the Splatoon 3 OLED, that's because when people were searching up Nintendo Switch OLED, they wanted the Splatoon 3 OLED to be the one that popped up at the top of the search results. So you take down the other OLED trailer to ensure that that happens. And so... Yeah, that, that could literally be what this is. This is the first look at Nintendo Switch. It is a reveal trailer. And if they are about to drop a trailer sometime in the next week for a brand new Nintendo Switch, the Nintendo Switch 2, it's possible they want to make sure that when people type in, you know, Nintendo Switch trailer or Nintendo Switch reveal trailer, they want it to pop up with the actual brand new Nintendo Switch 2 or whatever they call it trailer at the top of the results and not the old reveal trailer. They don't want to confuse people. They want to get as much marketing push behind, obviously, what this reveal would be. That's the counter argument to the music licensing. Take it for what you will. I don't know what's going on. No one's been able to figure it out. We might know soon, you know, if the trailer just pops back up and nothing happens, cool, then maybe it was just an accident or a mistake, uh, or this is something much bigger and Nintendo's planning to reveal something. And look, if you want to add some feel to the fire, we've had a few things hinting at this possibly being revealed soon for a while. Uh, first off, coming out of Gamescom, all of the reports and stuff out there about something related to Switch 2 in March been speculated that possibly could be a release date for the platform. Again, I don't think it's coming out in March, but... You can't ignore that that is something that was coming out of Gamescom. And then on top of that, we have that old Pokemon rumor back in the day where it got all of the DLC details correct, and there was only one thing in that rumor that hasn't been verified because it was too far out, and that was that they were working on a graphics enhancement patch for Pokemon you know, Scarlet and Violet for a new platform to release with the DLC in winter of 2023. March happens to be right at that edge of entering winter, you know, leaving winter, entering spring. So I'm just throwing out there that 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 was 100% correct. And that came off 4chan. We didn't even pay attention to it till after it was correct. And it's because of this one little nugget of information. And maybe that person's been sitting there laughing the whole time, knowing this was going on as we're sitting here speculating. So again, you throw this into the mix and it just seems to add more fuel to the fire. But it's all speculation, and none of us know at this point. There's rumors, and we're going to leave it at that. 
All right, we have a few other things to note as well for Nintendo Switch 2. Doctrine 81 just continues to dig up hiring posts and, and new jobs and job listings that seem to be heavily related to the Nintendo Switch 2. I mean, just in the last 24 hours, he found a quality assurance engineer that seems to be hired in a similar place and country as the reported T239 chip that leaked last year from NVIDIA is supposed to be manufactured in, which is India. Uh, and you know what? It's a Nintendo-related hire. And yeah, quality insurance is obviously something Nintendo needs to care about. And I find this just to be really, really fascinating. Uh, it doesn't really seem to mean much to me other than, yeah, the thing's going in the mass manufacturing soon. We've had reports on that for a bit. But it, it's just something to consider. Uh, and if you guys aren't already subscribed to Doctray81 on YouTube... I don't know what's wrong with you because the guy continues to find some of the most unique stuff out there based on hiring posts, uh, and you really should pay attention to what he's doing. All right. Now, there is this patent that's floating out there as well that everyone is reporting and saying is related to Nintendo Switch 2, and here's like the main image people are sharing from it. And I just want to tell you that, yeah, no, the, this is not Nintendo Switch 2. I just want to squash this one because... People are giving it side looks, and some people have told me they're concerned. Patents for products not yet revealed are never published until after a system's reveal. I want to make that very clear. I've been following patents with Nintendo for 20 years. It's just, this is just how they do it, right? So remember the patent about a screen that was an oval and went around the control sticks that led to that 3D printed fake leak before NX was revealed in 2016? Everyone believed it because, hey... Here's this like supposed dev kit leak of this thing, and there was all you know an entire patent about it that was public and blah blah blah. Yeah, it went absolutely viral. This is like a similar thing. This is a scratched idea from Nintendo, like most of their patents for things that never came out, such as that oval all screen system, never actually came out. Remember the supplemental computing device patent everyone got excited about? Yeah. That never happened either. This is basically the exact same thing. So, yeah, I don't really know why we're sitting here bothering, worrying about stuff like this. But what I will say is there's a lot of exciting things swirling around the Nintendo Switch 2 right now. And I want to get all of your guys' thoughts on this stuff because to me... This is, I mean, it's almost overwhelming how much we had to put in this video. Normally, when we have these Nintendo Switch 2 videos, we have like this one thing to go over. And instead, we had a whole, you know, truckload of stuff to just dump onto your plate. So you guys take with this information and do with it what you will. Um, I'm very interested to debate this stuff with you on a live stream tonight. Uh, we'll obviously have a, be, this be a topic on our podcast tomorrow along with Mario Wonder. Remember, the Nintendo Prime podcast is not tonight. It's actually going to be tomorrow night, Thursday night at 8 p.m. Central because we're going to not only have our core four on with Jake Randall, Andres Restart, Eric Moore, and myself. We're going to be also having an RGT85 and Review Tech USA talking about all that Mario goodness, some Switch 2 stuff, and who the hell knows what else. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'm going to catch you in the next video.